All right, hey there, Proxians. This is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Paper Mario and the Origami King. And in the previous episode, guys, we basically finished off over at the Ninji House, and uh, that one was actually a little bit difficult to do, but not to worry, we got it all said and done. Uh, I believe there was a certain amount of toads that if we got up or, uh, to a certain amount of like how many ninja toads that we found, we were able to get ourselves a little bit of a prize. Um, I know that I got myself a shiny mushroom um, from before, but I don't know if there's like something exceeded afterwards. Uh, to like get like a treasure collectible or whatever to add in our 100% here on Origami King or not, but uh, I may probably have to look uh, up. Uh, I may probably have to search that up off recording or something like that uh, to see if I'm going to be missing out on anything like that there. Um, but it's okay because we can go back and return back to that house anyways, and I think you can actually do it like, like redo it again for another time or something. I'm not too entirely certain. Um, but hope you guys are having yourself a good Thursday. You guys are going to be seeing a cage lock happening as well uh, before uh, seeing this video. Uh, so hope you guys did enjoy the cage match. Um, just want to let you guys know that I don't really want to tease out anything or anything like that. So please go and make sure to go and check it out because uh, there is some exciting uh, things on our end, on my end, of course. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's going to be... Uh, pretty good there for the cage lock um but yeah for this episode here uh guys is that we're going to continue on throughout the shogun studios uh there is a few things that we do need to do uh, before even taking on the boss uh and that is um we actually have to go through different certain amount of floors uh to do certain different things and uh it's actually gonna be pretty cool because uh we are gonna be able to see birdo again uh in this cameo so Let's go and open up this door here. I am prepared. I did add in a few uh, shiny hammers to our thing as well as adding a whole bunch of shiny boots as well. Uh, so we're not really uh, screwed out uh, screwed uh, screwed out on like items or anything. So uh, the toes are just hanging out in here. Whoa, uh, you're right. They seem fine. They even, are, uh, they even have air conditioning in here. Uh, this is great. Now we can relax and enjoy the show. Uh, let's find some open seats. Last call. There are still three open seats in the very front row. Well, I guess that means that those are going to be here for us. But, oh, man. We need to... Oh, no. It seems like that toad's, like, basically stuck. We can't really help him out at all. All right. Well, I guess for what we need to do is just uh, sit on these seats and uh, figure out what we need to do here with this uh, theater part. So, oh, I can't wait to see what kind of show this is. It must be a full-on Shogun celebration. Special show, special show. I can't wait. Let's go. Uh, shush, man, the show is about to start. Oh, sorry. It's so quiet in here. Uh, wait. Why is it so quiet in here? Aren't those toes usually, like, super lively, you know, like, loud? Oh, no, they're all taped up, and they're all tied up by this rubber band. Everyone's tied in their seats. That looks so uncomfortable. It's like a literal captive audience. What's, uh, what's uh, tying them down? Rope? It looks pretty stretchy for rope. Well, I already said it's already rubber band. Well, attention audience, we have a few final announcements for our very own special guests. Outside food or drink, flash photography, and opening uh, the menu screen while on stage are strictly super duper prohibited. So, technically, uh, like, uh, if you, um, do any type of, like, menu stuff or anything, you can't really do it now in this theater. But before, uh, since I already did that off record, I made sure to add up all of the shiny hammers, all the shiny boots, all up here, so... So, uh, the, the dry wind blows through a quiet prairie town, and the people of this town lead sim uh, simple lives, but they also live in fear. Oh, man, I feel sorry for that toad. He's also tied up, too. So, do you think that the deadly outlaw will show his face again today? I hope not. He raises such a ruckus when he comes to town. Huh? No ninjas? No, there is no ninjas. Just a lot of these paper macho uh, shy guys out here. Oh, here comes the macho Goomba. Now I, now, I do believe I've seen this before on some gameplay walkthroughs as well with some other YouTubers. And I have to say, like, like this whole Shogun Studios thing is actually uh, pretty funny. Like, there's actually some good stuff here. So, of course, we do got ourselves a save point. Uh, so, it is pretty nice that uh, we've already taken care of everything that we need to do. So, all we really have to do for this part is that we kind of have to play kind of like this cowboy shooting game. So, you have to make sure that when um the light uh says fire you make sure that you fire right at when he actually says it so it's gonna be kind of tricky at first but we have to do this for like three or i think it's like three times that we have to do this so you and me are gonna fire and have a deal so when you see fire you press a got it so fire too early or too late and you lose only press a when you see the fire gotcha okay ready and 
There we go. Nice. And we fired. We fired a bullet right at him, and he is down. Nice. And so peace returned to the town, and thanks to the mysterious lawman. So nice. We could also go and make sure to pick up a few of these. Now, also, too, you also want to make sure that you go behind the, the currents here, because you can also find some, uh, Niha, drop in your guard a little too soon, ain't ya? Get back in your center stage, Mario. Aw. Oh. Okay, I guess not. But, uh, in some of these areas, uh, when we get to, like, the top and the third floor, we can actually find, uh, some more of the hidden blocks and, uh, hidden treasures to find around here. Okay, so here we go. No, now we just have to wait until we see the fire side. Ready? Come on. Oh, there we go. Hey, we got him right on the on, on the bun right there. The heroic blow man struck in a flash. Another ruffian has been defeated. I really like this, uh, like part of this, because you don't really have to do a whole bunch of battles in here. It, it, it's just only a whole bunch of like paper macho uh, type enemies instead, because because you don't really have to worry about this. So so your pesky lawman have heard so much about. Oh, it's a sniffit. It's a sniffit macho. Okay, here we go. So you took out my gang, but you can beat me. Well, let's see. Can I beat you? All right, now this is gonna get a little bit tricky. Oh. There we go, and fire! Nice. Now, I think that was the last guy. I could be wrong. So with lightning speed, the lawman defeats the vile gang leader. Nice, our hero has brought peace and tranquility back to the town forever. Thank you, brave lawman, thank you. Well, no problem, Toads. We did it. Sorry, Mario, we're not done yet. You better get back to your seat. Well, I think now we should be able to look around uh, around these places, I think. We can't really go and head into inside the actual stage itself, but we can head uh, behind here and actually grab ourselves our first collectible. So, got ourselves the Paper Macho Snippet Outlaw. Nice. So, yes, you can find uh, some stuff here. So, nice. That is 100%. That is our collectible already, already completed. But there's also a toad around here, and uh, I don't see where this toad is. Oh. Where's this toad? Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's the toad. Hey, dude. Are you the last of the toads that I have to find you here as well? I'm supposed to um, uh, see the show, uh, but after a couple of rehearsals, they recast me as a cactus. Aw. Okay, so I think there's more Toads that we have to find, but I don't think there's too much Toads in the Shogun Studios uh, Theater anyways, but let's just go and uh, sit back down here. So th that was so cool, Big M. I want to have a quick draw duel next. So why did you tell us, Mario, that you're such a great actor? Well, it wasn't all that too difficult. You just have to make sure to just be patient. That's not how that scene was written. They were supposed to pop, you see, uh, you, uh, it was supposed to pop to uh, Smithereens. Uh, I despise improvisation. Uh, time for the next stage. Let's make sure that he breaks a leg this time. Oh man. Well, I, if you guys have uh, have never seen uh, the Paper Mario uh, Origami King um, gameplay or anything like this, uh, there is a boss in here by the name of Rubber Band, and he is actually the enemy or the bo the main boss here uh, for Shogun Studios right now. And uh, I have seen uh, the boss battle fight for it, and it is a little bit tricky. Like, uh, getting, like, into, like, the ending portion part of Rubber Band, uh, he does actually move around a lot. And, hey, there's Birdo. And uh, you have to be uh, super careful uh, for when he, like, moves around because uh, he can do some uh, pretty insane uh, damage if you're not, uh, if you're, uh, if you don't uh, look too hard or, or if you, uh, or if you get, um, like, really stuck. So now this is kind of like um, West Side Story a little bit. <laughs> I think that's what the reference is supposed to be like. I scram. She's going to be my main uh, squeeze tonight. Whoa, slow down, boys. Your enthusiasm is adorable, but I'm not sure either of you has what I'm looking for. I need a strong uh, little go-getter and a rug handyman to get the job done. And lucky me, I hear that we have a celebrity in the audience who fits the bill. Oh no, they're, they're gonna be pointing at me. He's got such a of eyes, a brilliant mustache, nice beefy cast to those big pumps. Yeah, I guess they are gonna be talking about me. Get up on here, Mario. Let's see how you go toe to toe with these shell ones. 
Now, this one in particular is a little bit difficult than what the first one was. Now, for this one in particular, I think you have to hit, like, all the different, um, all the different Koopas out here, but, uh, but they do go pretty fast, and I don't know if there's, like, a time limit or something that's on here, but, uh, hey, there overall, it's glad that you could join us. Uh, you're the greaser that this bird is gaga for. Uh, what a loud, what a load of baloney. Uh, we'll see how tough he is. Let's dance. Oh, what a treat, and that's, and that's not even my birthday. I want to see a good, clean fight. Try not to bruise each other up too badly, okay? Well, these guys shouldn't be all that too difficult. Oh, no. Whoa! Ouch. Okay, so I don't know if we have to, like, try and dodge these guys or something, but... Ouch. So I guess we'll just dodge, I guess. This is what's going to happen. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's how you do it. You have to jump on them and hit them. Gotcha. So that's how you knock all these guys down. Oh no, the red ones are just being super stubborn. Come here. Nice. Oh, hey. I saw you jumping around here. Okay, there we go. Green one is down. So we took most of those uh, Macho Koopas down, but there are still a few more guys out here. You're pretty tough after all, but playtime is over. Yeah, it's time to bust out that advanced choreography. Oh no. Ouch. Wow, these guys are like shooting around like ping pong balls out here. Come on. How am I supposed to grab all these guys out here? Whoa. Okay, there we go. So he's kind of just stopped here. Oh, no. There we go. Ouch. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Birdo. Ah, oh, God, no. Okay, just stop or just... Whoa. There we go. Okay, now he's finally down. All right, now let me just get his friend over here. And he's down, too. Oh, thank God. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, Birdo, you squished us. Oh. I knew that you mocked the floor with those uh, delinquents, but my gosh. Now I've got Mario's Madness, and I've got the only cure. Hmm. Welcome on, Mario. Get it together. It's just a stage kiss. Oh, get it. I get that you're pretending to be overwhelmed by your emotions, but, but I love improv. Uh, tough luck overalls. Despite my prior warnings, here you are with an egg on your face. And that's my cue to exit. Uh, ciao, Mario. I'll be dreaming of our next performance. Well, the sad thing is, is that that's going to be the last time that we're going to be seeing Birdo here. So, well, she only had two lines in rehearsal. So, you okay, Mario? I don't think we really get to see Birdo anymore. I don't know. If we may probably meet her up at Sangra Spa. I don't really, because I, I can't really remember, because I only saw, I only saw, like, um, the full entire gameplay of Paper Mario or Gamma King, like, maybe, like, Maybe like once, so I can't really tell. But I guess we'll just sit back there. Oh, no. Okay, before he gets mad. Well, no. I'm actually going to grab this heart right away. And pick that up. We're still 13 minutes in. I think there's another toad back here. Oh, there's really nothing back here? Hmm. All right. Well, I believe there is one more area to go, so let's just sit up here. So that was just so uh, crazy. All of that romance, it was just too much. Ah, uh, Fooey, forget the romance in that fight scene. That was intense, so it make me, uh, makes me wish that I had fists to clench. Uh, that's not how I act. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that was supposed to be end. I mean, like, really, there's no way Mario is actually that strong. Talk about a stretch. You paper macho goons and better band together in the next act, or I may snap. Well, I think the next one is like another like dance sequence and this time around we have to knock out a whole bunch of like paper macho goombas and shy guys and other things that are around here. Okay, so what's the next act? So next, a spectacle, uh, uh, next, uh, a spectacle by the Royal Shoei, uh, guy. Pardon me, the guy, uh, the shy guy Balico. Oh, here we go. Now, this one should be that too difficult either, because, like, all you have to do is just kind of, like, hit them with their hammer. Hmm. 
This is just so weird. See shy guys in, in, in a tutu out here and just doing random dancing. But uh, I can't wait until we start heading on over to the uh, to the Shy Guy Desert. That's going to be uh, really fun. Right after all of this, once we take care of the actual boss. Or, or not the Shy Guy. Is it called the Shy Guy Desert? I, 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 I can't remember. This is really weird. <laughs> See Mario dancing. Oh no, he's too fat. Oh, uh, oh no! We explode him. Now they're all angry. Uh oh! We better knock these guys out of here before they start doing something crazy. All right, there we go. Ouch! Eight damage. That wasn't fun. All right, come here, dude. Yes, get out of here. Ah! Stop being annoying, dude. I need to knock all you guys out. Yes. Alright, last guy. Sweet, we got our, a few hearts back. Nice. Okay. Wow, we didn't even get injured that time around. Ouch. Ah. Crazy. Ah. Okay. Ouch. Oh my god, they're all coming around. Oh wow, okay, nice. We got a big old 50. Oh, finally, yes, and they're all exploded. Is that it? Is that everyone? Hopefully. Nice. Alright, so that was all three uh, stage acts done. So, sorry, Mario, we're not done yet. You better take back, uh, you better get back in your seat. Now, something tells me I think the last one is going to be the boss fight, and I may probably have to end off this episode a little bit earlier than, than as expected. So, we'll save the boss fight for the next episode. Oh, there we go. We got a nice big old heart right there. Alright, I'm going to save it. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to end off this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Paper Mario Origami King. Uh, we literally taken care of all three acts. I believe there's, like, one more act, but I'm pretty certain that's kind of like the finishing... Uh, the, the kind of like the finale of everything here in Shogun Studios. And then we actually got ourselves the boss fight that's coming up. So, it's kind of a good thing that I kind of saved up right now. Uh, but yeah, we'll take care of the boss. Uh, we should be able to uh, get everything that we need to do after when we're uh, all finished and collected everything. Uh, we should be able to now uh, head on over uh, to the desert region of uh, Paper Mario Origami King, which that's going to be pretty awesome. And uh, I can't wait till we go and do that. Um, but I could be wrong with the desert. Uh, I may probably, I may probably be wrong. I think it, I think we may probably be heading over to the ocean side. Uh, I think probably after, um, but I, I can't really remember off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, we'll do that and I'll see you guys then and peace.